comment he made during a match in January is threatening to end his career. He says it's a big misunderstanding. You've heard the expression, did the punishment fit the crime? But in this case, was there even a crime? Take a listen and you decide. Well, it's a third round clash, a lot at stake. Doug Adler made his name in the world of tennis, calling matches for ESPN, and before that, as an ace on the court. But you won't find much of that after a quick Google search. I need to know what is it like for you to Google your own name and see the word racism used in the same sentence as Doug Adler? Yeah, it just makes me absolutely sick. Never been a racist, I've never looked at color, have never even thought of that term until this whole situation. That situation began earlier this year during the Australian Open. Adler calling a match between Venus Williams and Switzerland's Stephanie Bergala. Venus was just too good. She was too good. So in the second set, it became apparent to me what Venus was doing. Adler says he noticed Williams employing an especially aggressive style of play. That led him to make this fateful comment. And you'll see Venus move in and put the gorilla effect on. Charging. To some viewers, it was clear they just heard an ESPN commentator comparing one of the world's top tennis players, an African American, to a gorilla. Spell the word gorilla in that sentence. G-U-E-R-R-I-L-L-A. So gorilla like gorilla warfare. Yes. Not G-O-R-I-L-L-A. Nothing to do with an animal. Everything to do with tactics, strategy, how to win the point. Two words that sound similar, but have very different meanings. Anger quickly mounted on social media. But Adler says he didn't hear about the controversy until the next day, when his boss told him he'd been branded a racist. I said, you've got to be kidding me. And he said, it's unbelievable. He says, he said, we all know what you meant. The gorilla effect. Is that a common phrase in tennis? It's been used for decades. Perhaps most famously in this iconic Nike ad from 1995, starring Andre Agassi and Pete Sampras. The ad's name, Gorilla Tennis. Those are two white tennis players. Did it ever occur to you that that term would not be appropriate when referring to or describing an African-American or black tennis player? No. No, never. When asked about Adler's comment days later, Venus Williams said this. I had paid attention and addressed situations that are noteworthy. So you took that to mean this was no big deal, you'd done nothing wrong? That's exactly the way I read into it. It was nothing. But amid the uproar, ESPN asked Adler to apologize on air. The network itself issued a statement saying Doug Adler should have been more careful in his reflection. Oh. He apologized. What did you guys think? Well, me personally, I don't think that may... Look, you got Trump, the president of the United States, who is a clear racist, saying things way worse than that. And I, as an African-American man, understand what that man was saying. And, a, and I'm a tennis player. I totally understand what he meant. He did not meant to call Venus a gorilla like the monkey gorilla. You know, let's just, come on people, let's stop tripping. Venus, whatever she said, you can tell she practiced that. Venus, did you practice that? Because that was a really good, quick <laughs> line you, you had there for the, the press. But, you know, the other thing I wanted to say is that, you know, when you have spectacular tennis players like Venus and Serena who have so much power in their game, Sometimes you just don't know what to say. Sometimes you just, oh my God, she's just, oh, she's using, you know. Then you, before you know it, you say something you don't have nothing, no, no business saying. I mean, I've been guilty of it myself. You know, maybe, you know, a cuss word here and there, like, oh my God, bleepity bleep, did she hit that ball like that? You know what I mean? So, let's take it easy on this man. You know, it says here, on ES, ESPN.com that Adler claims emotional distress. So he's going to be suing 
ESPN, and he, you know, they ruined his career. And he's right. If it had been Martina Navratilova or John McEnroe, who we know always says something that he shouldn't say. As a matter of fact, he just said something about Serena not too long ago, a few months ago. What? It's gone. You don't even know about it now. So. Yeah, they ended his career. Doug, I'm on your side. If you need somebody on your side, I'm on your side. I know you didn't mean that. It's ridiculous, people. Come on. I hope so. I'm trying to live without it now. I agree there is a great degree of anger there. And I'm not happy about the anger. And until I think that I'm proven fairly that I didn't do anything wrong, I think it's going to sit with me. ESPN says to this day they're not 100% sure which word Adler intended to use. They deny all the allegations in the lawsuit, telling us, quote, Adler made an inappropriate reference to Venus Williams for which he felt no apology was necessary. We disagree and stand 100% behind our decision to remove him from the 2017 Australian Open. A representative for Venus Williams declined to issue a comment.